This video is the second video on using uh, Elasticsearch with .NET Core application. Um, in the previous video, I leave the link in, this, in the description box. I was just indexing one document and uh, creating client and indexing one document. In this video, I would like to show the way of um, indexing multiple documents using, using bulk API and also do a simple search. So I created here the array of objects um, the, with the basically three different cards. But if you look the bulk API on the Elasticsearch bulk API, it's require um, kind of like two things. First, you specify the operation like index or delete to create, and the second object will be the source. So in my case, all operation is just indexing. So I have three different index. Uh, indexes one to three and the second object that will belong to the previous index is the source so it's I'm just creating a car with make and a price so after that there is bulk async on the client that we can call and uh, post there this uh, cars array of objects that we created with post data dot multi and multi JSON and pass cars and we'll just get body from the response and output the console so if I run this so I have all this output that inserted I basically already running it second time so for me it's updated it's test it was updated but if we go to Kibana so we have these three documents there now we'll comment out this part of the code and the second part of this demo is for searching so again on the client there is search async method that requires first parameter is index in my case it's car and the search query or like post data body which is like the search query so i'm creating simple match query by the field make and specifying the search text so this query i just got from documentation on the last search queries so this is match query and I'm using short request example like this in my case I'm just replacing message with my field name and my text so if I run this so I got the result one result and the hold and price so and this can be replaced with any query with different a 
additional parameters request and so on and so forth so this concludes my very short demo thanks for watching bye